Obviously, I mean, he's you know won two major championships and just won last week. Uh, obviously, he's in is in great form. Uh, it's just a matter of going out there and then executing his game plan. I mean, that's what he he talks about a lot is uh, formulating a game plan and, and executing it. And uh, this is a golf course in which you, you have to do that. You have to execute it and and, and trust it. So Spieth could make history, Stephen A., but is it still a bigger story if Tiger wins over Spieth? To me, this is straight out. I'm not going to blame you, Molly. Oh, please I'm not don't gonna blame me. I didn't do anything. I'm not going to hold you they accountable. Do. This is all Skip Bayless. You can just no. see what it is. It's just a sneaky self just throwing in one of these questions because, oh, my Lord, he knows how I am. There is no way. That even if Spieth wins three straight majors, okay, and, and literally is on the cusp of capturing four in one calendar year, which has not been done. Let me tell you something right now. It still doesn't compare to if Tiger Woods wins this. Do you have any, I, I, which you know because you know more, I know golf because of you. So I'm going to give you credit where credit is due. Do you have any, I do, do I need to remind you, have you, has amnesia kicked in and, 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 and convoluted your brain and you have forgotten how god awful Tiger Woods has been? I mean, he looks like straight garbage. I mean, Tiger Woods hasn't won a tournament since 2013, hasn't won a major since the U.S. Open in 2008. I mean, just as recently as weeks ago, Skip, he, he dropped to 241st in the world. 241 in the world, okay? And didn't have a top 10 finish around the world over the last 18 months. His swing is bad. His back is even worse. The Lord knows we got knee injuries, leg issues. We got, we, he clearly has emotional issues. I don't know whether he needs to see a psychologist privately or does he need to go on national TV with Dr. Phil and hash out his issues. Whatever the case may be, everywhere you turn, Tiger Woods got problems. He's got problems with his swing. He can't keep a coach. He's, good. he's, got, he's on his fourth coach. He's, I'm hearing he's about to let Como go and get rid of him, which makes will make a, a fifth coach. The swing ain't consistent. The clubs ain't consistent. His health is unreliable. Emotionally, he's warped. And oh, by the way, he's sitting there, and the most profound thing he has said is, I don't have a double a, a double ARP card. I'm not retiring. <laughs> I'm still there. I'm, I'm, I'm near. I'm, I'm right there. Right where? Right where? St. Andrews, you're on the course. We know you're there because we saw footage of you being there. But in terms of your game, it's been going for a quarter quite a long time and then all of a sudden tiger woods comes out of nowhere and wins and wins the british open oh my goodness there's, there's nothing that speed can do even at age 21 even if he wins three straight which would be what is the first time since ben hogan 1953 i think okay i mean even if he does that the bigger story is clearly tiger because like, like easily easily Easily, because I'm not. I'm not, Let me correct. I'm not saying it in terms of golf. You being a golf, uh, uh, avid golf, a golf lover, the way that you are, for golf aficionados, sure. I'm talking about in terms of a story, headlines, you know, paparazzi type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Everything from the New York Daily News to the Washington Post to the National. Club. I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about headline material. It's really, I mean, Tiger would clearly be a big story to golf aficionados. It would be Spieth. But beyond transcending the sport. Oh, please. It's not even in the same ballpark. It's all Tiger. Easily. I mean, that's definitely a question out of your ballpark. Because to me, it ain't even a question. Not even a question. I cannot tell you how much your answer offends me as a golf fanatic. I cannot tell you how your perspective on the sport I love drives me up uh, the trees I usually hit when I play. <laughs> <laughs> because for you, golf is Tiger Woods or it is nothing. That's your perspective on golf. I'll explain that in a minute, but okay. go ahead. All right. Your reaction says it all about what's happening right now to Jordan Spieth. Because his performance so far this year is vintage Tiger-esque. But he is not getting the credit for it because his game isn't nearly as spectacular to watch as vintage Tiger's game was back in 2002 when he won the first two majors. Or that stretch from like 2000 to 2002 when he was the most dominant golfer in the history of this game. But Stephen A. Smith, I, I know you haven't taken the time to stop and smell these flowers. Mm -hmm. 
What Jordan Spieth has done in his first 18 starts of this year mm -hmm. is right there with any great streak in all of Tiger Woods' career. Because in Jordan Spieth's first 18 starts this year, he's won four times, he's come in second three times, he even came in third once. And he won the first two majors and he is now favored, thanks in part to no Rory McIlroy and the British, mm -hmm. he is favored to win the third leg of the Grand Slam, as you point out for the first time since the great Ben Hogan did it in 1953, mm -hmm. 62 years ago, mm -hmm. and Jordan Spieth, as Molly pointed out to start this off, is 21 years of age. Mm -hmm. But Tiger Woods' game was captivating. Mm -hmm. It was scintillating. Mm -hmm. He was a thunderstorm waiting to happen on the golf course. Mm -hmm. He was can't take your eyes off riveting. Mm -hmm. And all I ever hear about Jordan Spieth at age 21, the standard line is, oh, he doesn't do anything great. He just does everything very well, even though I think he's a great putter because Tiger Woods in his heyday was the best putter, one of the greatest putters ever. Mm -hmm. And right now, so is Jordan Spieth for the first 18 starts of mm -hmm. the year. Mm -hmm. I think Jordan Spieth's poise under pressure mm -hmm. is great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go out on the limb. Mm -hmm. it's, it's already starting to look <clears throat> all time great to me, but we need a little more proof there. Right. But because he's not Tiger Woods mm -hmm. and he's not captivating, mm -hmm. even though the I, I got to say the TV ratings for that John Deere and the playoff that he won last mm -hmm. weekend, mm -hmm. they were pretty good. I think he is starting to move the meter. Will he ever move it the way Tiger did? No, because there's nothing startling about his game. He doesn't hit it off the planet. Mm -hmm. He he did hold out his his uh, his second shot. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. his third shot on 17 the other day for an eagle. Mm -hmm. I, I think he is a dead eye mid iron player. Right. So so these things. See, you're you're like next. You know, show me what else, right? Allow okay. me, to, allow me yes. to help you out because you know, you do get a bit emotional mm -hmm. about your golf, and I totally you understand. make me emotional. I, I totally understand, and I appreciate where you're coming mm -hmm. from, Skip Bayless. But, I was the emotional but, 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 one. But, but again, again, we're speaking factually here, and factually speaking, the question wasn't about Spieth's game. The question was about what's the bigger story. So allow me to enlighten you. Our researcher extraordinaire <laughs> mm -hmm. provides me with this information. Woods Masters Sunday victory in 1997. I believe that was age 21, if I remember correctly. You know what the rating was, Skip Bayless? 14.1 mm -hmm. TV rating. Did you know that? I'm not. I think you did, because you know all of this stuff. Well, second a, a, best, a, as you well to, know, it to, was a sociological breakthrough. Uh, uh, allow First me, black uh, man to win uh, at Augusta. Uh, uh, hey, okay. again, all I'm right. going back. Okay. Bigger story, okay. not game. See, you're okay. talking about the game. Mm -hmm. I, the question that Molly so uh, uh, adroitly asked was, the story, the story is about what's most compelling, what galvanizes folks, what generates well, ratings. My is question. You understand what I'm saying? What, 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 she <laughs> asked it oh, beautifully. She asked it. You just, oh, you, you, just, just, you, just you just, you just the tricked question. her into asking oh. it. I'm just breaking it down I to just you. Love this All right? homework right the, the, here. the second best, the second best rating skip was Woods' 2001 victory at Augusta National. That was a 13.3. Now let's go to Spieth. Okay, won his first Masters in April. What was that number, Skip Bayless? 8.8. .8. Mm. You see the difference? It's like six full points. So now, what do we get to? What we're talking about is this. You being a golf lover, going to your country clubs or wherever you go in Bristol, Connecticut. Uh, I play at public golf courses. Well, you know, you do uh, that I'm a too. man of but, people. But, but let's not He's act not like... Hollywood, let's, let's, please, He's not Hollywood, Stephen Please, look at that like, suit. The man is Hollywood, okay? Let's stop it, all right? Dress. We all know what time it is. You might go to the, you might go to the public course in Bristol. You at the country clubs everywhere else. Stop it. Hey, Ernest, Ernestine, I'm turning on to make me tell on make me call Ernestine now. So here's the deal. By the way, I owe you a call, Ernestine. Thank you so much. Here's the point, Skip Bayless. I tried to tell you this on many occasions. When you look at the sport of golf and you look at a guy like Jordan Spieth, I recall you talking the same exact way about Rory, Rory McIlroy. You said in terms of the greatness, the potential that was there, could he be the next Tiger? We had that debate right in Bristol on the set. I am simply saying to you, when you talk about all of these guys, you talk about golf. When you talked about Tiger Woods, you talked about so many different things. And it wasn't just his golf. It was the impact he had on our society, how he transcended the sport, etc. Because whether America wants to accept it or not, when we're watching everybody else, we're watching golf. When we watch Tiger Woods, we think about a potpourri of things because Tiger Woods 
was even though there were those who preceded him, when it comes to Tiger Woods, folks outside of the white community felt welcomed. When it's without Tiger Woods and we're watching golf, a lot of folks, unless you're a golf aficionado, you don't necessarily feel invited. I'm not blaming anybody for that. I'm not saying it's a negative. I'm saying it is a reality. When you are watching all of these other golfers, it just gives the way that the way they are celebrated, the way they are talked about, the stories that circulate, etc. You just get the impression it's that little old boys club, that little cocoon, and every this is what we do. Now y'all can watch from afar, y'all can watch from a distance, but this is what we do. Mm -hmm. Whereas when Tiger is playing, everybody feels invited, mm -hmm. and that is why. Tiger Woods would be a bigger story mm -hmm. than Spieth. Period. Okay. I, I, I'm, you forced me to point out again. There's Please a do. litany of a professional black golfers who came before Tiger. I told you. We were all very good, and I don't have time That's to right. listen to all, but I've done it for but you I, before. I, I, I mentioned that because you told and, me that. And I'm going to say this again. Maybe my perspective is warped because I grew up on a public course that I just got to play back in my hometown of Oklahoma City mm -hmm. called Lincoln Park, Lincoln mm -hmm. East and Lincoln West. Mm -hmm. And a whole lot of black people played on that golf course when I was growing up in the 1960s. Mm -hmm. And I went back and I saw a whole lot more black people who still played play there. So I always thought everybody plays this game. That's my perspective. Your perspective is always to look at golf through the black perspective and I try to look at golf just from a golf perspective. Is mm -hmm. that fair? That's totally fair. Yeah. But what I'm saying to you is that if you're growing up in the inner city community and you're not exposed to those kind of things and a plethora of our society is pretty much from the streets, whether it's white, black, Hispanic, or whatever the case may be. Everyone doesn't live in affluence. As, as much as we talk about America being a great, great nation, when you talk about, you know, millions upon millions of people being unemployed, underemployed, et cetera, et cetera, what you are really recognizing is the fact that there are a lot of people in our society that don't have access to what you had access to when you were growing up. So if you're talking about folks who love the game of golf, golf aficionados, etc., of course Spieth is the story. But when you talk about society in general, people who never watched golf, never gave a damn about golf, never felt that golf was inclusionary enough, etc., etc., somehow, some way they watched Tiger, and the ratings show it, which makes him a bigger story than Spieth. Because he's been so god-awful, he's been so pathetic as a golfer, that if you saw him come for, rise from the ashes, it would be the biggest story in golf by far. Spieth wouldn't even be close. Okay, so if Jordan Spieth wins on Sunday, Stephen A. Smith will yawn. No, no. I'll be like this, nice job. Nice, nice job. job. Nice job. Very, very, That's very it. great Dismissive. performance. Great nice performance. Job, great performance. Nice job. But I guarantee you this. Will, you, Monday, will you do a golf clap? Or a golf I, clap I, let me put it to you this way. I guarantee you that if Jordan Spieth wins, we come in Monday on first take and, you know, we do pray probably the first block. But if Tiger won, it'd be three different segments in the show. Okay. And Skip knows it because he suggested it be three different segments of the show. Sad but true. There so we go. So Speed, the true golf story, Tiger, the mainstream story there, another mainstream story that never seems to go away. Pete Rose, should he be in baseball? The Reds will honor Charlie Hustle during the All-Star festivities tonight, but should the controversial Pete Rose get the ultimate honor, the Hall of Fame? We'll break that down next. Keep it here.